Children's Research Institute is a new venture that is actually the first of its kind in the country and as far as we can tell the world in which the strengths of a major pediatric hospital, Children's Medical Center, and a world-class academic medical school, UT Southwestern Medical Center, are combined to focus on the science of what causes diseases in children and how we can cure them. This institution was founded just in 2011 and they're already making impactful breakthroughs. Any institute like this is only as good as the people you can recruit. And so both institutions were committed to do it only if we could recruit really world-class people. We were very fortunate when we set out to do this in 2011 to be able to attract a, 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 an international leader in the area of stem cell biology and cancer and metabolism named Dr. Sean Morrison. And Sean set about recruiting other people of great uh, national and international stature. And he's already built an exceptional team of five and now a sixth person about to arrive toward a goal of having 15 separate research centers within the Institute, all attacking important problems of pediatric illness as, with a special focus on cancer and metabolic diseases. Dr. Morrison's team is focusing on the why, the mechanics, from a basic level of cellular metabolism genetics. We've been very fortunate and very gratified that some early results have paid off so promisingly that already now in clinical trials in people and is helping people be cured. In 2006 I married my wife Kim. In July of 2011 she gave me a call after visiting her general practitioner told her that she had breast cancer. When I received that call, I, I basically fell to my knees. I said, how could that be? You've had your mammogram, you've done everything that you're supposed to do. When she was diagnosed, it was already stage three. So we embarked on a three year, six month war to fight this, and we lost. She passed away in December. 40,000 American women and men die of stage four breast cancer each year. We're in a war here. That's why I look at this as an army. It's art to beat cancer for Children's Research Institute. And it is an art benefit auction where art is sold and the proceeds go toward an endowment that I established in my wife's name for cancer research at CRI. Uh, all proceeds will be matched so it's a way to engage the community in something unique, which art is, and engage them to become basically a volunteer army for this fight against cancer. No overhead costs are taken. Every dollar that's raised, every dollar that's paid for this art goes for cancer research. The artists are, have been extremely generous and extremely excited about being part of this cause and to use their work to support it and to win this battle. The uh, auction for art is one way to do that. Uh, we really need the help and kids are going to get cured because of what we're doing here. These researchers are dedicated to finding a cure for cancer. What we need is your dedication to these researchers at CRI as well. Dallas has more Nobel Prize winners than any other uh, community and we're very fortunate that now we've got this focus of world-class scientists looking at the basic science and the clinical applications of pediatric diseases and there's tremendous hope for the future and it's going to happen right here in Dallas.